In the early 80s, people started coming down with rare infections and cancers. What tied these things together was a severely weakened immune system caused by the HIV virus. Researchers wanted to make an animal model with a human immune system. In autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or lupus, the immune system starts attacking the body itself like it was a pathogen. AIDS is different. White blood cells called T cells that normally identify non-self invaders are attacked and severely depleted, making it way harder to fight off disease. T cells learn the difference between self and other in an organ called the thymus. To make a humanized mouse model of HIV infection, they first implanted human thymus tissue into mice that didn't have a strong immune system of their own. Then they injected human stem cells that can develop into T cells. The human thymus grew inside the mouse and human-looking T cells started circulating in its body. These humanized mice made a fertile environment for HIV, giving researchers a powerful new tool for modeling the deadly and mysterious disease. Models like this have been used to study drug treatments like AZT, which have turned HIV infection into a manageable condition. These original mice have largely been replaced by other kinds of mouse models like BLT mice with more human-like immune systems. Subscribe for more and go to patreon.com/ihmcurious to support. Thanks for watching.